We're Ashley and Christian, and we started traveling together in March of 2017 and haven't stopped since. After visiting over 30 countries across four continents, we've become hooked on seeing, tasting, and trying new things. Being pushed out of our comfort zones while traveling has inspired us to set a crazy goal of visiting every country in the world. Good morning. We have a very fun day today. We are exploring a lot of the Oaxacan coast. We're going to Zibolite, Mazunte, Vanilla, Ventimilla. Very full and fun day. We might see some crocodiles as well as do some snorkeling. We're going to be heading east along the coast and I'm just excited to see what the rest of the coast looks like. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. We just took about an hour drive to Ventania, just outside of Puerto Escondido. We're hopping on a boat and we're taking a little ride through the mangroves where he said our chances of seeing crocodiles and deer are really high. Something we noticed like immediately is how much more calm the beach is here than it is in Puerto Escondido. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I look back in the mangroves, like waiting to see a crocodile. Getting off the boat on the island, we saw tons of crocodiles. There was one with like its head up against a tree and there was two on the land. I think they look a lot cuter like that without all their skin because they have such a big head. <laughs> have these babies in like a sanctuary area and those are almost a year old. They protect them here for about a year because the adult crocodiles will eat the babies. You can see it better. It's a casual boa constrictor. <laughs> so besides the wild crocodiles, they have some uh, deer and monkey like sanctuary protection areas. They're gated off from the crocodiles. They also have a little tiny restaurant area. And so we got some food and some drinks. This is what I've been waiting for. After you drink all of the water from the coconut, they cut it up for you and bring you some stuff to dip it in. And it is delicious. I love real coconut but I hate like artificial coconut flavoring. So if you also hate coconut flavoring, make sure you try real coconuts because they are a thousand times better than the like flavor, like the artificial flavor. That 
is the alpha crocodile. He's the biggest and the baddest, and he beat out the other alpha like a year ago. <laughs> way a bit more down the coast and we've arrived in Zipolite, which is pretty well known within Mexico and internationally as being Mexico's nude beach. And looking at the people so far, I'd say 20% or so are nude. So obviously we will not be showing any nudity on the camera because I think that's probably very much so illegal. We are going to walk around and show you the area. It's really pretty. The beach is very pretty. And uh, once again, the waves are a lot less than Puerto Escondido, so we should be able to swim and get out there. We have come to a little beach restaurant. There's quite a few of them. We haven't been able to record any to show you because there's always at least one very naked person. So we've been trying to do the best we can. So we just sat down at this restaurant to get some food and drinks. Um, and you know, of course we have the camera angled away from the beach because there are you know, of course naked people out there and we will respect their privacy yeah. while they're sitting on the beach. Yes. So we got a couple drinks and we're just enjoying this. It's very nice to get out in the water. Today has gotten very, very high. Still big waves. Still pretty swimmable in my opinion. This is not as popular of a surfing area because the waves are. Yeah, they're not crazy. It is very famous for being Mexico's well-known nude beach. We wanted to come. We and wanted our, to explore the Oaxacan coast. Our driver was talking to us and he told us there's actually a hotel um, that you can stay at and it's like half nude, half clothed. You can stay there if you want to like embrace the nude experience mm -hmm. and then um, if you don't want to, you can just stay on the other side of the hotel. Except for food areas, those are always clothed. Mm. Clothing. Back in the 70s is when this like really started. Our uh, guide said was yeah. when the hippies came through yeah. and kind of settled here as their main yeah. spot. And so it kind of became this well-known like nude beach, free spirit area. You can definitely tell. I mean, people are very relaxed here. There's yeah. not a lot of like loud music or large groups of people. It's kind of just everyone doing their own thing. And it's really nice. Like, I really like this area. I got this delicious margarita. It's the maracuya fruit, which is actually passion fruit, which tastes like a mixture of kiwi and dragon fruit, in my opinion. It's grown in some regions of Brazil, Argentina, and then here in Mexico. We are now in Playa Pantheon, which is farther east, just a little bit. It's only about 10 minutes from Zicolite. We are gonna go snorkel out in this beautiful port. It's Puerto Angel. Oh, and I have flippers on, so I'm not walking the best right now. Because I need to be swimming. <laughs> but we're gonna go snorkel out that way. And Christian's in, so. Snorkeling. It was really nice. Uh, the water is like perfect here. We are headed back in the direction of Puerto Escondido because it is almost four o'clock. It's a, it's been a full day, yeah. like a busy, fun full day. Oh, we're ready to shower and lay down. <laughs> yeah. 